Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you something really awesome. It's a new type of stand that I developed. It's great for photo boots, organic centerpieces, organic arches, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned for right after this. Okay, so basically what we're going to go ahead and show you is how to make a pedestal stand with a circle on the top. Now a lot of centerpieces designs, they'll take a hula hoop or a circular piece here and then they just lean it on something or they'll just have it attached somewhere else. But I am going to show you how to make a nice photo booth opportunity or uh, a nice organic centerpiece, uh, which I'll show you right here. So you can make something like that or similar and I will make, I'm going to be making videos like the one I just showed you, uh, the video tutorials of the picture I just showed you. So make sure you learn this, buy the materials, make it so you can follow along with my videos uh, in the future, okay? So, <clears throat> what you're going to need is PVC PEX pipe, that's P-E-X, you can get that at a local hardware store. Alright, this is half inch. You, it comes in lengths of 10 feet by the 10 foot lengths. You can get lengths up to 25 feet for like 8 bucks. Uh, the $10 one is, I'm sorry, the 10 foot one is about $3. And that's generally all over the country in the United States. So, uh, very easy and you'll find it everywhere. Or you go to your plumbing supply store, it has it as well. Alright. Uh, or, you could use a hula hoop. But you're still going to need a little bit of the PEX pipe to go onto our pencil stand, which I'll show you in a second. Alright, so I'm going to show you two different ways. And we're going to take our, these are Shark Bite PEX uh, couplers. It's basically a three-way, okay, um, coupler. So, it doesn't need to be shark bite, it's just a three-way PEX coupler, okay? Um, I'll show you that in a second as well. And then we're going to go use our plant prop that I always like to use, and then we're going to grab some tiles. You get some cheap, cheap tiles at your local hardware store as well. So, uh, once you have all your materials, we're going to show you how to assemble it. Very easy. Well, first we're going to find our center spot on our tile. I pre-marked it already. The way you find your center is just Take uh, a ruler or any straight edge, and you just go from corner to corner, and you mark it with the pen, and you do that on this side, and you mark it with the pen, and then you're going to get your X, where that X meets is the center of the tile. Once you find your center of your tile, I'm using two tiles to make it a little bit more sturdier, and basically we're just going to tape them together with Gorilla Glue. That's it. You could use hot glue and tape, but make sure um, that you always use, you got to use the tape. The glue, the glue alone is not going to hold it, okay? Okay, so... The way we're going to attach our plant prop is, once we found our center mark, okay, we're going to make sure that the plant prop is lined up correctly, and then just take a small little piece of tape, and just to secure it onto the stand the way you want it, so it's not sliding around. Okay, once you have that, we can go ahead and add it to our second tile. And then I'm taking a longer piece of Gorilla Tape and I'm going to wrap it around both so the two tiles stick together and the plant prop gets more secure. Now I'm going to do that just like this. Folding it underneath, folding it underneath. And then we're going to go one more the opposite way, making sure everything is tightly secure. Around the bottom, around the bottom, and then you can always just test it, <clears throat> making sure that you're good. Now that's good. Okay, now we're going to take our PEX pipe, and what we did is use a PVC cutter. You could use a hacksaw, or there's other ways to cut this pipe uh, with, or even like a tube cutter. But I have this nice PVC cutter. You open it up, you would measure it to right to the top of your plant prop, and then you would just click it and Cut your piece off, which I already done already. Okay, so we go ahead and slide that right on top. Okay, so once we have our plant pop secured, we just take some tape. All right, this is thinner, obviously, than the PEX pipe that we're putting on top of it. So we're just going to take some little pieces about that big, and we're going to wrap it around the plant prop in about three different spots. Maybe here, 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 maybe four. Okay, and you want to do that a bunch of times. Okay, you're just going to take a little piece, wrap it around, take another little piece, and we're going to wrap that around again, 
And what we're doing is basically making it a snubber fit for the PEX pipe. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one here, which I started already. Hopefully you can get that. Now that we have our little points, when we put our PEX pipe on, it's going to fit nice and snug. So we're just going to slide that on. Like so, and it's going to give it a nice snug fit. Now we're going to go ahead and show you, if you have a hula hoop, this is about a, two, this is about a 30 inch hula hoop from a diameter, okay? Anything bigger might be a little bit too wobbly for the pedestal stand because the pedestal stand is not that strong to keep that much weight. But um, I've gotten a, a 30 inch hula hoop and I all the hula hoops are connected at some point. I've disconnected it. Let me just show you here. So it comes like this. I disconnected it and I took the little bowl out. Sometimes there's water in it, so be careful. You pour that out and then we take our coupler, okay? That's a PEX th three-way coupler. And we're just going to slide it on one side and then slide it in the other. And then we're going to take some more Gorilla Tape and uh, tape that all together. You can show when you tape it that you have your three-way coupler. This piece is sticking up or out. All right, then we'll just go ahead and tape that. Our other piece that fell off. We just gonna tape it on right now. And once it's taped, we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. And the way we do that is just take this hula hoop and slide it on your pex pipe like so. And then we would just go ahead and do some more tape here. Now, you could do the same thing with PEX pipe all together. This is just, and this is going to be a little bit more t tight fitting, so you, you have you could use less tape, but I would still tape it. But this is just the PEX pipe, the same as we use on the bottom. I cut a piece of it, and then we do the same exact thing, connect it, and you have uh, your PEX pipe. Now, this is a little bit more heavier, so since you're using a pedestal stand, a plant prop rather, the it can wobble a little bit more, so who hula hoop actually does work better but that's it what I also when you're attaching your hula hoop to your PEX pipe after I put the glue grillic tape on there if you have electrical tape it's really nice what to do is we're gonna go ahead and just go basically almost like a figure eight we're gonna go down come around the other side come back up and down around the other side and then we can even go down a little bit on the pipe here making sure you are secure. <clears throat> Once you have that, you're basically ready to go, and that's it. So, make sure you put this in your repertoire, make sure you build this, get used to using it, because I'm gonna be doing lots of tutorials on it, I'm gonna show you how to make the nice organic centerpiece, I'm gonna be doing photo booths with this, so buy the materials, it's really cheap to make. A hula hoop is a dollar from a dollar store, those little pieces come for a 10 pack for like five dollars, so like 50 cents a piece. The text pipe, like I said before, 10 feet, three bucks. And uh, the tiles are like 47 cents each. And even the prayer props like two bucks. So all together, this is maybe like five dollars to make, six dollars to make. Really cool, really versatile, and it's gonna set you apart from the rest of the competition out there. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up my videos, comment below, and check out my website, The Amazing Blue Guy. Thanks for watching.